Hello. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about my favorite Stardew Valley mods. I am not a mod girl when it comes to Stardew Valley. However, there are a few quality of life mods that I absolutely adore and a few that I think are kind of slept on. I'm going to show you four mods that I absolutely adore and that I use a lot and they're very much quality of life mods. They are not like aesthetic or like super like story changing game changing mods if you do enjoy like story changing mods such as like stardew valley expanded i am however doing a first playthrough of stardew valley expanded on my twitch channel over at twitch.tv slash party if you would like to watch that but yeah this is not going to be a video for those kind of mods it's more so like quality of life mods but let me show you my favorites all right so the first mod i'm going to talk about is called star blue valley and this is the most aesthetic it gets when it comes to the mods that are my favorites you can kind of already notice there's like a bit of like a change in the way the menus look with this uh, mod so already you can kind of see it looks a little bit different it's just like the the colors are a little bit like richer i I feel like is the best way to describe star blue valley it's a weird weird mod uh name and also just like idea but basically it kind of just enhances the colors of the game and makes the game a little less yellow i feel like is the best way to describe this mod i personally love the way that classic stardew valley looks i have no problem with it oh my god hello don't mind me in these complete breakfasts right now i personally don't mind like the way vanilla stardew valley looks uh in fact i do prefer to play vanilla stardew valley however of all the aesthetic mods that i have tried this is the one i enjoy the most I just like the way that this one looks the most. I'm trying to show like more areas just so you can get a better idea of kind of like how the mod looks. It doesn't like change up any major buildings or anything like that. It just changes up the colors of like the grass and the ground and the game. I think it just kind of like makes the game a little less bright and a little more natural. I feel like is the best way to describe this mod. Look at the way the stones look on the on the ground. I, I love the way this looks. I just I really do adore this mod and the way it looks. Okay, so the next mod might be like a little silly. I don't know, but I love this mod. It is called the slightly recolored tools mod. Once again, this is like a like a color aesthetic mod it's not really aesthetic though at all uh, it just changes up the way your tools look it's very very small but i adore this mod i don't know why i just really like it so as you can see here my tools do not look like they normally uh look uh the blue for iridium quality tools are much like it's more dark or not the blue the purple i'm sorry uh, it's more like this kind of purple right um but as you can see it's a little a little light a lighter color of, of, of purple and I just think this mod is so nice <laughs> I like it so much I just I don't know I think that this purple is a little more like ay yay ay whereas this purple is like light and like more pastel and yeah if there's like a theme here if anything it's like like I like lighter like more lighter colors I suppose and yeah I, I adore this mod it's very very simple but I don't know I like the lighter colored uh tools it, it cute like look at my cute little light purple tool and it does the same with the other tools obviously i just have iridium quality and so that's like the example i could show but it does the same with like copper iron uh gold tools as well this next mod is for all my stardew baddies who really really enjoy the way their stardew character's hair looks but they and they never wear hats because the hats mess up your hair this mod is called hats won't mess up your hair <laughs> this mod is fantastic so with my hair i like the little like pigtail moments uh this is my favorite hairstyle in the game but if you were to have longer hair in the game and you know whenever like you win the egg hunt and you get that little silly little hat and like your your beautiful gorgeous flowing long hair is all of a sudden like just completely cut off whenever you put on that little hat and suddenly you have the ugliest hair in the world it's it's atrocious and it's a crime honestly this mod changes that so if i put a hat on my character's hair um my hat doesn't change the way my hair looks at all my hair stays the exact same it's amazing i love this mod so much uh especially whenever my character has like longer hair or something but lately i've just been rocking this hairstyle but you know if you have that like really really long uh character hair your hats will no longer mess up your hair and it's fantastic the last mod i'm going to share with y'all is probably like the holy grail of all 
quality of life mods in Stardew Valley. This mod has had a little bit of trouble ever since the latest uh, version of Stardew Valley came out. So I'm gonna link down below the version that I'm using. It's called like UI Info Suite 2. I did not get this off of Nexus. Uh, I got it, actually got it off of Nexus, but under the posts, like it was in a comment on the UI Info Suite mod uh, page but it wasn't from Nexus. I downloaded it somewhere else. Uh, this mod, this version of UI Info Suite is compatible with the latest version of Stardew Valley. Now let's talk about this mod because it's like literally perfection. So basically this mod is perfection and makes your life a whole lot easier in Stardew Valley. First of all, it's a little buggy still, but it's the best that we got. Um, first of all, it'll tell you up at the top uh, right under your money what the weather's like is gonna be like tomorrow if there's somebody's birthday today and it'll also there's like a little dice right here it's kind of hidden from my journal right now but um, there's a dice right here that'll tell you what your luck is so basically it just kind of like helps you out and makes it to where you don't need to check your TV every day, you know? It'll also tell you if it's a Sunday, if there's a Queen of Sauce recipe to go grab. It's super, super helpful. There's so many things this mod does that I'll probably like forget something, but a big one is you can hover over your crops and it'll tell you how much longer until the next harvest for your crops. And it does the same thing with kegs. So I can see that my ancient fruit wine will be done in three days, which is super, super helpful. And it basically just makes your life a whole lot easier. Like it tells you when things will be done you can hover over different machines and whatnot and it'll tell you how much longer that'll take like it's truly just like a game changer when it comes to quality of life and i honestly kind of like wish this was just like a part of stardew i suppose that like a part of like the vanilla stardew valley experience is just guessing and hoping your your strawberries will have one more harvest before the spring ends but uh i really do adore this mod also same with tappers like you can like hover over tappers also if you like send in a tool to clint and that tool is ready it'll tell you up here in this top right corner as well it's just super Andy, man, I love this mod. So those are the mods I'm gonna share with you today. Just four simple mods. I'm not much of a modded girl when it comes to Stardew, but if I were to use mods, these are the mods I'm gonna go for. Very, very simple quality of life mods. Out of all of them, if I could only recommend one, it would definitely be the UI Info Suite mod. But I also really like Star Blue Valley. I think the name is funny too. It's like, what? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did make it this far, Bar. I really do appreciate all the love and support this channel has been uh, seeing lately. If you'd like to watch me live and catch me live, I am a full-time streamer over on twitch.tv slash partyarly. You can catch me streaming all sorts of things. We're doing uh, Stardew Valley over there right now. Also Pokemon, Undertale as well. It's a grand old time over there, so uh, be sure to drop a follow if you haven't already. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I try to post at least once a week here uh, over on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching again, and I, uh, I hope you have a lovely night. See ya!